no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net Today I'd like to tell you something very important And at first, you're gonna disagree I need to tell you that you aren't smart enough I know you think you are, but you're not you're not smart enough to not be affected by advertisements and propaganda. None of us are. Political attack ads work. Stupid beer commercials work. That ad where the girl's top falls off while she's playing volleyball and then they tell you to buy a car. It works. It works like a charm. It works like ringing the bell for Pavlov's dogs. It works like an immigrant with three jobs. It works because you're not smart enough. If they didn't work, these corporations wouldn't spend billions of dollars on them. When was the last time a corporation said, well, these stupid attack ads aren't doing a damn thing, but keep them, keep them up anyway, because if the ad department doesn't have anything to do, they end up sitting around scratching their and then the whole box of donuts in the break room smells like these ads work because we're not smart enough to have control over our monkey brains. Ads can make you put your money in a massive bank that just finished stealing your tax dollars in a trillion dollar bailout. They can make you pay for a bad movie or buy an industrial sized bag of homogenized freeze dried french fries because you're not smart enough to say no. The problem is we all think we are smart enough. We all think that ads can't affect me. I'm immune on account of my godlike mental faculties. I make Einstein look like Paris Hilton. I, I mean mentally, not not physically. If I if I meant physically, that analogy would imply I'm grotesque and massively mustachioed. In another study, MIT students were overwhelmingly more likely to dislike the taste of a beer if they were told the secret ingredient was vinegar than if they weren't told. You would think taste doesn't change depending on what we're told, but it does because we're animals at heart and we're not smart enough. And believe it or not, Congress is currently trying to end the ban on the use of propaganda on the American public. That's when you know our government is for and by the people. When the law banning the use of propaganda is really tying their hands. As if the propaganda pushed out through the regular media outlets on a daily basis isn't enough. In one study, people who watch Fox News know less about what's going on in the world than people who watch no news at all. That's like if you're watching a sports channel that shows you games that never happened, and then you walk around going, I cannot believe the uh, Miami Heat beat Andre Agassi. And everyone else is like, I, I don't even watch sports, but one of those is a basketball team and the other one's a retired tennis player. And you're like, what the f***? That sports channel made me dumber about sports. The point is, you aren't smart enough to beat this stuff. None of us are. Stop thinking it doesn't work on you. Once you accept that it does, we can all get to work on avoiding it, undermining it, and ridiculing it. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. If you want to read more on this, I'm going to post the links to the studies and the stories I mentioned on the front page of LeeCamp.net. Also, if you'd like to help keep MOC going, feel free to donate a small amount at my website. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.